Hey guys, Scooter with the Rocky Mountain Rough Riders. Um, today we are exploring some more backcountry and we are in the Pioneer Mountain Range and we decided to camp because it's such a long drive over from home. So uh, we're spending three nights. Last night was our first night, got down about 31 degrees and uh, we're exploring the mountains here. Everything's pretty dry. We uh, haven't had much moisture recently. It is September, so some of these trails are gonna close next month. But these are some old charcoal kilns that were used to haul charcoal, make charcoal here, and they were, you hauled them down to the mill, which is no longer standing, just a smelter stack. And they used to slide the logs down from way up top. There's a little structure up there. You probably can't see it on the GoPro. But they'd slide the logs all the way down the side of the mountain into the kilns here. And it was quite a process to make the charcoal. And over the years, there were a handful of people that fell and were killed, burned up in the kilns here back in the day, but it was quite a process. Yeah. 
to listen to my mother, good people. I would not have been here today. But drinking and gambling at home, I cannot stay. All around this jailhouse is all of good people. Forty dollars won't pay my fine. On whiskey surrounding my body. Pretty women is a trouble in my mind. I wrote a letter to my own good people. I told her I was in jail. She wrote me back and answered, saying, Honey, I'm a going for your bill. Dig a hole in the meadow, good people. Go and dig a hole in the ground and stand all around, good people, and see this runner go down. And when I'm dead and buried, to my pale face to the sun and stand all around, little one. We are up about 9,000 feet guys we're eventually going to get up top there and we'll be about 10,000 feet we'll explore that some Hard winters, Mother Nature taking its toll. Looks like the remains of an old oven stove slash oven. Those seem to be the items that are always left behind. There were many, many more cabins up here back in the day. A lot of them have vanished. I'm sure people have scavenged the barn wood off of them. <clears throat> it's going to be hard to see on the GoPro, but there's little tunnels on the side of the mountain where the miners worked. And there was a tramway that was enclosed that went from the top of the mountain all the way down. Quite an impressive operation. Okay, we're gonna move move on down the road, explore a few more buildings, and then work our way up to the top of the mountain, guys. Old ovens, guys. Big old oven. Hey guys, scooter with the Rough Riders. We moved up a little bit higher and we're gonna be heading up on the top rim up there, be close to 10,000 feet. 
but you can see small tunnels in the side of the mountain here where the miners worked and there's actually cables probably won't be able to see them with the GoPro but there's cables coming down on the side of the mountain there and uh, several little tunnels it'd be real hard to get up there and explore those now but it sure be interesting to see we're just down below we were just down below there and explored those two old buildings and I'm gonna head down there's some more shacks and cabins down below there we're gonna poke around in real hazy to the east from fires I think it's fires that are out of state but to the west beautiful but we are losing daylight so we got to keep moving and they're pretty cool old building guys pretty cool Yeah. Imagine what life would have been like back in the day. Probably pretty cozy. Got your little bungalow cabins. cool guys we're gonna go check out a couple more there's one back up in the trees here let's go check it out more bed frames Water still flowing out of the old piping. I'm way back. Another old cabin. I'd love to hear stories from somebody that had relatives that worked and lived up here somebody's great-grandparents look at that guys I've been up here a number of times and I've never seen this one haunting
very cool. Look at this, guys. They had tin for a heat shield. Their stove went went in here. There's the stove pipe. They had a metal heat shield all around this corner. And there was a root cellar. Probably you can't see with the GoPro, but there's stairs going down underneath this building. So much history, guys, hidden in the mountains. Many people don't even know about the history from over 100 and 150 years or more ago. And the stuff is slowly giving in to Mother Nature and time. I'm so fortunate to be able to explore this stuff and see it before it disintegrates and like this one here is caved in or we get a bad fire in this area it's all lost so I try to document these places before they're gone guys we found the old stamp mill pretty cool the concrete and rock work up here is amazing somebody's done some nice stacking of the old barn wood but look at the mill guys the concrete and rock work quite an operation back in the day let's head up top take a look This place was really something back when it was still standing in one piece. Alice Chalmers, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay guys, we are 9,500 feet up 
and we were just exploring way down there and we're headed back out of the canyon that way really hazy from smoke and uh, we got into some bighorns here a time or two real up close and personal with six bighorn rams but this is all mining country it snowed up here last week but it's already gone so we've got a couple of tunnels down here we're gonna look into we probably won't go in very far but there's actually some remnants of snow right in the bottom of that one I got the good light today, guys. We'll see. I think this one just goes down and around the corner. Dies out. Yep. So that other one did come through here. Kind of some turquoise colored rock there. More in there. This is about as far down in this tunnel as I've been, guys. <laughs> stay jazzy stay that old I don't know what that represents but it goes down in a ways I was thinking it goes down around the corner. Down there, guys. Way down in there, guys. There's an electrical cable. I'll go any down any farther today. Pretty cool. There's Dave at the entrance up there. This is actually one of the more safer mines it's just a little steep coming out come on jazzy no it keeps going man that was pretty cool guys Steep climb coming out of there. So we found a big pulley system. A big heavy pulley system there, guys, right in front of us. It's real steep. I don't know about 
I'm almost betting there's tunnels right below me here. But it's so darn steep. It'd be a true workout to get back up. But right below us is where we were exploring the old buildings earlier. So I got down to the equipment here guys and that actually looks like it has an electric motor on it and I think there was a tunnel here that's caved in but they use this apparatus to winch up and down the side of the mountain but there's tunnels all along the side of the mountain below me but way too steep to ex explore Found another old dwelling here, guys, and some kind of a cabin or structure at one time. But I'm gonna look down here real quick. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Goes way back in there, guys. I'd like to come back and explore that. Cool. Nice. You just never know what you're gonna find off the side of the trail. We're still making stops on our way down the mountain, guys. Here's a pretty cool old shack here. Boy, look at that, guys. That goes way down. Real deep tunnel. That's a deep one. Pretty cool old structure here. Wow. Wonder what this was all about. Interesting. Well guys, we're gonna we're gonna start working our way back. Pretty late in the evening. We've got a long ways back to camp. But I'm glad we came up. We found out they're starting all new mining operations up here. And we've seen some roads bulldozed. We've seen marking flags. And I hope that they don't destroy the history up here in this country. Um, they're probably gonna close the access off or we'll never be able to come back up here again. And that's kinda, kinda sad because we appreciate exploring this history while it's still standing. Beautiful country. Be a couple more weeks, and this probably won't be accessible if we get a fresh snowstorm. Pioneer Mountain Range, one of our top 10 rides over the past 12 years that we've done. Could be the last time if they close access. 
Okay, we're gonna head head down the mountain. Back down there. We got a good 30 to 40 miles back to camp.